Right, this tutorial is on long multiplication for year 7. It's exercise 9D, question 1, A, C, E and G. You should have already tried these questions in class today. But if you have any problems, you can watch this now and work through parts B, D, F and H for homework. Part A asks us to multiply 17 by 23. So if we write those underneath each other using tens and units, that First of all, we're going to multiply the 17 by the 3. So we are going to do 3 times 7 is 21. Put down my units, which is 1, and carry my 10s. And then 3 times 1 is 3, add 2 is 5. Now we're going to multiply the 17 by the 2, but the 2 is in the 10s column, so that means we're multiplying 17 by 20. So I need to start with a 0, and then 2 times 7 is 14. Finish with this 2. I carry my 1, put down my 4, carry my 1. 2 times 1 is 2, add 1, 3. So here I've got 3 times 17, and here I've got 20 times 17. So if I add both of those together, I will get the answer for 23 times 17. So 1 add 0 is 1. 5 at 4 is 9, and 3. So my final answer is 391, which means that 17 times 23 is equal to 391. So part C asks us to do 19 times 45. So 19 times 45. Again, first of all, we're going to multiply the 19 by the 5. So 5 times 9 is 45. Down my 5, carry my 4. 5 times 1 is 5, add 4 is 9. And then I'm going to multiply 19 by the 40. So the first thing I do is put down my 0. 4 times 9 is 36. Put down my 6, carry my 3. 4 times 1 is 4, add 3, 7. Again, this is the answer for 5 times 19. And this is the answer for 40 times 19. So when I add them together, I will get the answer for 45 times 19. So 9 add 6 is 15. 7 add 1 is 8. So I get 855. This means 19 times 45 equals 855. Part E asks us to do 12 times 346. Now you could lay it out like this, 12 times 346, or it's probably slightly easier to lay it out with the bigger number on the top, so 346 times 12. But either one will work. So if I use the 12 times 346, first of all I will multiply by the units, which is the 6, the 6 times 2 is 12, put down my 2, carry my 1. 6 times 1 is 6, add 1, 7. I'm then going to multiply by my 4 tens. So I'll multiply by 40, I put down my 0. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. This one is finished. And now I will have to multiply by my hundreds. So I'm going to multiply by the 3. Now that's in the hundreds column, so it will need two zeros at the start. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. Again, if I add all of those together, I will come up with a final total of 2, 15, 11, so 4,152. And of course, if I did it the other way round, then I would multiply by the 2 first of all. So 2 times 6 is 12. Put down your 2, carry a 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Add 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. Put down my 0 before I multiply, because I'm going to multiply by 10. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 4 is 4. And 1 times 3 is 3. Add those together, we get 2, 15, 11, and 4. So either way, I will get 12 times 
346 equal to 4152. Right, so our last multiplication is 147 times 27. I'm going to write it with the 27 down, 147 up. And multiply by the 7 units first. 7 times 7 is 49. Put down my 9, carry my 4. 7 times 4 is 28, add 4 is 32. Down my 2, carry my 3. 7 times 1 is 7, add 3, 10. I'm now going to multiply by 20. It's two groups of 10. So I put down a 0 at the start. 2 times 7 is 14. Put down your 4, carry your 1. 2 times 4 is 8, add 1, 9. And 2 times 1 is 2. Add those together and get 9, 6, 9, 3. So 27 times 147 equals 3,969. So hopefully you've understood this multiplication tutorial. You can check your answers now to these four parts and attempts part B, D, F and H.